celebrated of the war um, and I think it's a nice way to celebrate him, yeah. celebrate life instead of being sad, okay? So um, it's a way to say bye. Um, so let's try to have fun. Brian, uh, I think that's my second parkour class um, at Moberly Sports Centre, uh, so it's probably about eight and a half years ago, um, and as I'm sure he was with absolutely everyone, um, he was really inviting, really encouraging, um, and just an amazing energy to, to meet, and a lovely, lovely welcoming person, who especially when you're just starting something new, um, was what, what, what you needed to fill. Yeah. I know Brian through parkour. He's been a part of my parkour journey since the beginning. I think I first met him in 2008, um, which is when I started doing day trips to London. And Brian stood out as a figurehead, ready to take lead and just to care for each other. Really had a good team spirit about him. Stephen, <laughs> listen, I had to, you hurt your foot, man. You need you back at the class. Like, Ricardo's here, and he's here. I'm here, but you're not here. I need you here. So make sure you heal that foot, and I want to see you back at the class, okay? Get well soon. Yeah, he was just a really, really awesome guy, man. Like, bigger than life, always friendly, always willing to encourage you, always willing to help you out if you needed anything at all. I remember this video which I still got on YouTube, uh, I fall over and Brian runs in and he picks me up off the floor, uh, we laugh about me falling over and then I try again, it's just the kind of guy he was, just to, to ru rush in to help one another. I didn't meet Brian that many times, right. but he had such an amazing impact over those times, I felt like I really knew him well. Yes. Uh, I remember. You know, it was obviously quite a few jams, but it was actually one time just bumped into him in the street. I think it was around Archway when we were still working, uh, when we were gardening together. Yes, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I just walked through the street and saw him, and it was just the most warm embrace. And yeah. it was just like, Flex, going on. And it was just like, yeah, you just really felt like you were part of his family. It's the same principle, the same kind of stuff that we've been using so far. It's just going to be a higher wall. Okay? I need some people coming standing next to me, we're going to make a big circle, big circle. He was the kind of guy that just yeah, brought everyone up around him um, all day, every day. Um, you couldn't help but if you were having a bad day or a bad moment or something, he would change that moment in, you know, within a few <laughs> seconds. You know, no matter yeah. what was happening, if anyone was starting to feel down, he would just be able to lift everyone's spirits like instantly. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think my first encounter with Brian was hearing lots of noise like yay, and then turning around and seeing this guy who was going like practically flying, like horizontal over, uh, doing a Kong over um, like two um, vaults and they were really far apart and it's like he had springs in his feet and this guy was like just flying. He wasn't even jumping, he was just flying. And um, yeah, just kind of, his energy and his enthusiasm and his passion and his physicalness. He gave the best hugs. I'm yeah. sure so many people can appreciate that. He gave yeah. the best hugs. Yeah. Every time we met those big old bear big hugs, hugs he was yeah. given, like, he hugged like he meant it every single yeah. time. And that's something that I'll always remember about him. He was the guy that never wanted to see someone uncomfortable in a situation. Yeah. So he'd always be the one, he'd always be the bridge between people that he already knew and people that were strangers. Um, mm. So he'd be the guy that would just walk over and say, hey, how you doing? Start a conversation. Yeah. And drag you into the mix of people that he's already good friends with. So he didn't like anyone to be on the side or left out or a bit sad. He'd always just be that guy who would like, can I go say hi? One of my most memorable um, outdoor training sessions ever was with Brian and Forrest was teaching us 
and it was like seriously like over 10 years ago in like Latimer and um, we were in the children's playground and it was like me and Ali and James and Yao and I think Andy I think Chris and it was raining it was like we came out the station and it was like raining pouring and I said why what have you been up to and he goes I guess come back from holiday man it was amazing this time yesterday I was like on the beach chilling relaxing it was really hot it was hot I can't believe it. it's like oh it's so cold and it's wet it's England and then Forrest did this precision and he Forrest fell and we were like what the like if forest falls we're all like completely screwed so we then we all tried to attempt this position in the rain and we were like we all somehow managed it and we were like yes and at the end i said to Brian, where would you rather be now would you want to be, i bet you missed that beach and he goes no man no man no man he goes you see up top of that roof there i feel so strong that i could jump from there onto the position and make it easy i'd rather be here and then he said he had this thing because the spartan film had just come out and he's like spartans and i was like yes yeah, spartans he's like no spartans have died today spartans spartans yeah and he's like bombed it off and like yeah next spot next spot he's like yes but let's go and it was like yeah let's go let's go so he was like he had this like really good energy of really bringing people together and really inspiring and really fun you know he taught me into go into this artist residency in the highlands um, and it was like three weeks away and uh, I just said yeah okay fine it's a chance to hang out and we just had this amazing week um, with all these really special people um, that none of us knew um, and one of the days we were there um, they took us out to this big forest and there's like a, a big treetop viewing platform so you go all the way up these stairs it's maybe like eight or nine stories and you're above the trees um, and at the beginning there was a little handrail Brian and I were walking along and uh, I think I was at the front and we just kept going up and 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 we both made it all the way to the top and we jumped down it, and it was probably the scariest thing I've ever done and uh, I turned around to Brian and said I just did that because uh, I knew you would take the piss out of me if I didn't do it and then he said yeah I did it because I thought you would take the piss out of me so like we would kind of both thought each other were the brave one but it worked and I think Brian does that a lot he kind of brings a lot of uh, he brings a lot of bravery to people and that was that was a beautiful moment because each of us thought we were being the tough one and actually we were both being the, the scared one so yeah and I've got some great photos of that so that's a really good memory. And you have um, some great photographs and some great uh, video clips and stuff of your rehearsals and your dance practice yeah. and there's that one in particular where you're on a wall and he's just holding oh, you up it. and it's, yeah. it's actually I mean it requires beautiful. a lot of trust with someone is holding you on a wall this a big wall. and like you have to literally trust them 100% otherwise if there is an inkling of any any mistrust or anything yeah. you there's it doesn't work and it wouldn't work but yeah. he's someone that I knew I could trust 100% he was never going to let me down he was never yeah. going to let me go so well, he was there on the day that we first met mm -hmm. and he was there on the day we got married yeah and he was also the first person that we, we told invited. and invited to our wedding yeah. so <laughs> He was just the guy that you always bumped into. Like something that would happen, you'd have some good news, yeah. and you'd be like, oh, hey, Brian, this is what's going on. Um, we just got the just date. <laughs> we just cons confirmed the date. Yeah. And then we were coming into Vauxhall Station. Someone was filming, kind of laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it, was gonna be it was Brian, of course. Yeah. And we were like, hey, we got some news. And yeah. yeah so. yes. Brian had this funny thing about loads of coincidences. If you ask loads of people here, they'll tell you that they met him on the tube. And there's what, like 8 million people in London? Is it more? Um, the last time I saw Brian in July, I met him on the tube about 10 minutes after I got here. And uh, I just did a text from my fiance to say, have you bumped into Brian yet? Ha 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 ha. And then three minutes later, he walks in the tube. You know, it just goes to show how involved he was. With yeah, all he the transcended different every yeah. different yeah. group. He, was, he wasn't Very in one clique. He was just, yeah. yeah. In, from parkour gen to parkour dance to his his own broken jumps to Fukan Academy. Yeah, you yeah, know, exactly. it's just it, he did exactly. so much. And, and, and all the other things we hear about outside, I didn't know about his acting. And everything yeah, I didn't. Else, I didn't so, know yeah. about acting and dancing. And you'd be like, you know everyone. Like, he like knew, seriously. He knew everyone from basketball days, yeah. from parkour days, from random film nights, yeah. or arts festivals, or music things, or acting things. He he was in every circle. 
but even if you don't know him that well, you feel like he's really close. And it's not being, you know, he was never being false. He was no. being really honest. He yeah. was such Always an open, so loving genuine. person. It's yeah. the kind of person after you meet, and it might sound a bit cheesy, but you, after you meet him, you kind of think to yourself, I wish I could be like that guy. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like that, that genuine warmth. Well, everyone's that saying, genuine, be more Brian. Be that's more the, uh, Brian, definitely. The new, I think uh, that's what everyone's going to take, take, take away. away and yeah. Try yeah. and be more Brian. <laughs> There's so many great memories of them. Yes. Favourite one probably is going to see Avatar in 3D <laughs> IMAX um, with all the PKG guys uh, and Brian was like right in the middle and he put the glasses on for the first time and he looked up and he saw the massive screen in like the big 3D uh, scene where the camera kind of pans down and it just <laughs> complete silence. Science, yeah. no, apart from Brian's laugh, it was, it was great. <laughs> it's amazing. So he was that guy. He was always just the center of uh, the energy, and, um, uh, and I miss him so much. I miss him so much. I hasn't really sunk in yet that he's he, he's not going to be around. I mm. keep looking for him today. Um, like a jam like this, he'd be he'd be in the middle somewhere, and he'd yeah. be uh, helping people out, and again bridging the gap between people that he hasn't met before and the crowd he already knows. And so yeah, I keep expecting to turn around and see him. But, uh, not today. Today. I think when I come to London, my eyes are really trained to look for him. So that's a really, yeah, that's going to be a difficult thing, I think. But it's also really interesting. It's a nice thing to be, to think that you can be quite isolated in this city, but actually he's reminded us that people can just still just bump into each other and have those chance encounters. It's going to take some getting used to just not hearing his laugh like around the corner every few minutes. Yeah. He was a good guy, man. Like a really, really good guy. And it tells, I mean, we've got a hundred people just here. You've got jams happening in Scotland, Tokyo, like all over the world. So one person, man, one person affected these many people. He'd be completely overwhelmed by all this love. I wouldn't understand why it was all for him. Yeah, <laughs> but you play it down. Yeah. But, um, I'm not surprised. Um, I expected big numbers today and that's yeah. exactly what, what happened. He was such a well-loved guy um, and he'll be really genuinely will be missed by ourselves and the greater yeah. parkour community. Well, today's testament, if, you know, if, if I die, if I have this many people coming yeah. out to <laughs> celebrate my life, then yeah, yeah, you know you've done well. You've done well, yeah, yeah. definitely.